good morning i'd like to welcome everybody to the bullish network ripple executive top 10 banks will hold digital assets also i will show you the proof that banks are already working with digital assets through one of the top banks also i also hear there is a xrp xlm tsunami on the way we will talk about that also let's get this party started first thing first guys i want to give a huge shout out to my brother camo and ammo he says conspiracy theory first thing first guys is i'm not a financial advisor i'm documenting my journey on digital currencies conspiracy theory could it be that mia miguel Viez leaves ripple so quietly because he will be the new ceo of r3 once ripple acquires them maybe ripple will make the announcement all at one time so pretty much guys camo ammo i apologize camo ammo basically says that this possible that miguel vs will be the new ceo of r3 in the internet of value i'm here to say that anything is possible I'd like to give a huge shout out to Joe Katz. I believe today, Black uh, Block Stars launches tomorrow, which is today. Hear from my friends, Chris Larson, Team Akon. Uh, hmm, I'm not following them. Uh, of course, uh, Chief Product Officer, Akon.com. Binance America, which is Binance USA, runs on Ripple. And Crypto Kali, of course, who comes from Binance US, which I believe... Uh, is definitely attached to Ripple, so I will be looking forward to that podcast, and I will link all this in the description. How Bill Gates is using cryptocurrency Ripple to fight global poverty. Now, this did come out this year. I think we're all familiar that Bill Gates and Ripple are working together, so I'm just going to read you one line out of here that kind of stuck out to me. The Gates Foundation will use cryptocurrency Ripple for its Level 1 project. Really interesting there. I'm kind of curious how level one project went and how level two project, level two project went and then level three project. I'm pretty sure they all have to do with XRP. That's for sure. I want to give a huge shout out to my brother ECK. ECK gets really good news. It looks like he tweeted the Joe Katz thing, the Bill Gates thing. This is the article that caught my attention. MoneyGram receives 16.6 million incentive from Ripple in Q1. Now, this is a really interesting scenario here, guys, because uh, MoneyGram accepted recently that these incentive payouts are given in XRP, the native currency of Ripple's platform. The company is compensated by Ripple and XRP for developing and bridging liquidity to foreign exchange markets. Facilitated by ODL, Ripple's on-demand liquidity platform and providing a reliable and level in, of foreign exchange trading activity we refer to this compensation as market development fees claimed by MoneyGram. So it looks like to me that maybe MoneyGram is receiving XRP as an incentive and they're growing these corridors and using this technology. But guys, constantly we're hearing about the Bitso, MoneyGram corridors, all-time high utility uh, is breaking barriers every week. I believe that soon utility will equal value. And I believe that will be very soon. Also, guys, it seems that article doesn't want to come up. This is the article about Jed McCaleb. It says uh, Ripple price jumped 24% despite Jed McCaleb selling 1.8 million XRP. Ripple price jumped 24% despite co-founder Jeb McCaleb selling 1.8 million XRP a day in April. So in April, the price of XRP jumped from 17 to 23 cent along with the rest of the market after Bitcoin price rallied. The digital asset ended the month with about 24% gains. This is a very interesting scenario that it did not fluctuate the price of Jed McCaleb. Uh, I believe it's showing XRP has some stability now. There's some really interesting scenarios unfolding lately with XRP and XLM. We will get into that also. But Ripple Executive Top 10 Top Banks Will Hold or Trade Digital Assets in Five Years. And I'm here to tell you, I believe that's before then. And I'm going to show you guys proof that banks are working with digital assets right now. Uh, top 10 banks will hold and trade digital assets in five years with XRP, a uh, 
XRP will play a crucial role. Now, this interview is uh, in a new interview with Martin Deltin says the current banking infrastructure is far too slow and inefficient at processing cross-border payments, financial institutions. She says she uh, she says are beginning to see blockchain technology as a solution, which is really interesting. In addition, she says crypto assets like XRP are poised to help banks bridge uh, desperate central bank digital currencies that lack interoperability. Always, once we say, guys, 10K per XRP for walled gardens. So just imagine XRP attaching or connecting all the CBDCs in the world. And that's why they're saying 10K per XRP. One drop is a penny, 10,000 drops in each XRP, which equals 10,000 per XRP. So very interesting scenario there. But I also want to highlight that of the video I did a few days ago. Uh, right here really quick is Eleptic launches world's first transaction monitoring system now through this video right here we determined that uh, Eleptic launches world first transaction monitoring system and if I can pull this up really really quick basically Coinbase, Binance, Wells and Fargo uh, I tied to Eleptic. Eleptic launches the world's first stellar transaction monitoring system which also is tied to Coinbase, Binance, and Wells and Fargo is funding this initiative. What they are trying to do is catch bad actors on the blockchain. So I am saying they are testing this technology at Wells and Fargo as we speak. And this is why Martine says that banks will hold and trade digital assets. As of right now, they are developing the technology to monitor bad actors on the blockchain. So there's the proof right there. Also, guys, I want to give a huge shout out to K-Dub. If you guys haven't seen the interview, I will link K-Dub within the description. Make sure you follow K-Dub. And down here in her second clip is the entire interview uh, with Miss Deltine, executive at Ripple. So shout out to K-Dub for having the interview. Shout out to Leonidas at XRP Arcade. And shout out to Martin Deltine telling the world how it's going to be in the future. Top banks will hold and trade digital currencies zero doubts i want to give a huge shout out to digital asset daily he's kicked the door open for xlm and i truly believe that since i've been down the rabbit hole i'm seeing potential in xlm i hear there is a xrp xlm tsunami on the way thoughts let me know what your guys thoughts are in the comments on this xlm xrp gaining momentum as the tokens that you must have i'm not a financial advisor i'm just kind of curious what the bullish family has to say about that and like i said guys here's the video shout out to everybody that supported this video i dropped yesterday on the bullish network eleptic and stellar xrp xlm uh, i basically gave a shout out to everybody that liked the video and that retweeted the video i really appreciate everybody that likes and retweets and comments on the video it helps the channel in a big way Shout out to Cambo Vision, Chris, XRP Africa, Mario. Those are my likers. And uh, these are my retweeters. Chris, Cambo, Tone, XRP589. Thank you guys big time for the support and retweeting the video. Teamwork makes the dream work. I also want to give a huge shout out to my brother. Uh, a happy birthday to Cambo Vision. Cambo Vision has been with me since 2017. He's a really great guy in the community. He's very bullish as hell. I cannot thank you enough for the, uh, you know, the support over the years. Thank you, my brother. I really appreciate that. Much love to you and your family. Guys, we have a new Bullish Network logo branding. Bullish Network hosted by Big Bullzilla. This is going to be our new logo. Shout out to XRP Hardcore. Hardcore extra hardcore xrp i will pull his information up he does amazing avatars banners pictures uh i will have some more information on this soon also and guys if you don't know you can follow me on instagram i really appreciate everybody that follows me on instagram sometimes having no choice leads you to doing exactly what you needed to do and that is so true guys sometimes when you're back against the wall whether you're you know, you want to change your financial situation or you want to change your credit situation. 
Sometimes uh, having no choice leads you to doing exactly what you needed to do. And I tweet stuff like this all the time, guys. Uh, the billionaire that was, that never was. And this is the guy that sold his shares uh, back in 1976. If he would have just held on, he'd be a billionaire. And that's what I truly believe if, with the crypto pioneers. If we are in the last mile of globalization, don't sell, hodl. Also, guys, I am on Facebook. I will link this in the description. Also, I'm on Facebook, Instagram. We have a bullish Twitter and a bullish YouTube channel. I will link all that in the description. Okay, guys, the Bullish Network logo will come down right now. Smash that logo to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. We will drop daily content on this channel. Much love. Mahalo, Bullish family number one.